hey everyone, I have here $100 of this really cheap feeling acoustic foam. And what this acoustic foam is for is you're supposed to place it around your room so that when you talk into it, it absorbs some of your voice and some of the echoes that are bouncing around in your room so that those echoes don't bounce back into your microphone and lower the sound quality. I'll have a link to it in the description below. I uh, honestly really have no idea if it works, but we're gonna do a little science experiment to find out. So I'm gonna record a few audio samples and I'm not gonna tell you if I'm using the audio foam or not in these samples. And I want you to guess and we'll find out if they're worth it. I'll give you a tour of my setup first. Welcome to this episode of MTV Cribs. This is where I live and uh, I'm pretty sure it's got the worst possible setup for sound. This is my desk. You can see to the side I got a window. Nice hard surface for sound to echo off of. I've got that wall with some free t-shirts I give away and some swag. That might absorb a little bit of sound. Got this whiteboard here. Also another really, really bad place because sound bounces very nicely off of it. Turning around, you can see my lights. Here's the rest of the room. It's not the biggest place, but you know, I make do. Here I got my rug. It's this shag carpet, nice to absorb some sound. Mickey Mouse there is real helpful too. That's my bed. There's my kitchen. That's my garage, my Lambo right there. Nice hard wall for sound to bounce off of. Another window that sound bounces off of. And uh, my, my glass sliding door. I leave all these windows and doors closed. So sound really, really bounces off of it. So I uh, hope you like my crib. That's what it's like without the audio foam. And here's my setup with the foam. I'll take a closer look at it. Got 36 panels of this audio foam, this two inch, two inch thick foam. And I glued them onto cardboard on the back so I can have this flexible modular sound panel. So we're gonna have that behind the mic. And then back where my whiteboard is, I got a small panel there to absorb some sound. And you'll see the rest of the room is all the same. No other changes there because uh, I really couldn't afford any more sound panels. So what we're gonna do for this blind audio experiment is I've reset up my microphone and my camera, and we're gonna take three audio samples in darkness. And I want you to guess for which of the audio samples I've installed the audio foam in, and which of them I haven't. And at the end, let's see if you're right. I hope you're right, because then it was a hundred bucks well spent. And if you're wrong, well, don't tell my wife that I spent a hundred bucks on this cheap foam. So this is audio sample A. If you don't know me, my name is David Liu. I've been working in tech for more than 10 years now, seven of them at Google. And to be honest, I really lucked into all the success I've had in my life. This is audio sample B. And I have a wife and two lovely kids. And uh, I've been together with my wife for more than 10 years now. She's the first person I've dated and she's the love of my life. This is audio sample C, and I've had a lot of great mentors in my life who taught me literally everything for me to get to where I am today. And I hope in this YouTube channel, I can share with you everything they taught me so, you know, you can get lucky and find success too. All right, video back on, here are the results. So audio samples A and B both did use the audio foam, and audio sample C did not have any audio foam whatsoever. If you got it right or if you didn't, let me know what you guessed in the comments. I'm really, really curious if my investment in these panels were worth it. And uh, thank you for watching this video. For all you tech dreamers out there, good luck and I'll see you next time.